Is this like an interview? Yes, this is. We're, we're here with Alan Oak, uh, famous um, for, um, well, he's famous here. <laughs> yeah, a world famous in the valley. Yes, and also an up-and-coming artist. Uh, um, what was your name again? <laughs> Audrey Rodriguez. Audrey Rodriguez. Okay. I was very impressed with her paintings. And uh, tell us a little bit about what uh, <clears throat> what you've done here and uh, why you invited Audrey. And well, this is the uh, this is poetry, pasta, and vino. Uh, we're at Carino's Italian Grill in Brownsville, Texas, and it's a uh, we're. we're Emulating an event of the same name has been going on in McAllen for, for a long time. It's brought a great deal of uh, uh, added to the cultural liveliness of McAllen, and now we want to bring that to the Lower Valley. What essentially you have is an evening where people come, they eat dinner at Carinos, and they listen to poets. They listen, uh, you know, read their poetry. They listen to musicians play, and then we always have an artist display his or her work, and then a, and then a portion of the proceeds uh, go to a charity. Um, and this, for our first kickoff, we want to make a, a kickoff of that. We want to make a really, really strong impression. So, in addition to our uh, some some many talented seasoned performers I know from throughout the valley, um, I was familiar with uh, Audrey's work uh, from when she displayed her senior exhibit at the University of Texas at Brownsville. And she deals with a topic that's very relevant here. She's able to, in my opinion, to uh, uh, to put to I want to say to words, but it's not to words to pictures. Um, the reality that we're all living through, and that so few, even artists, have been able to uh, to, to tackle the problems with uh, the fighting in, in Matamoros that affects all of us, even those of us on this side of the border. It's it's so new and so raw that even even the most talented voices in our community are having a hard time um, speaking of it, and she's been able to do that in pictures, and so. I was very, very impressed with her work, and, and I felt like she really needed to be our first artist. Thank you. Well, I think so too. Uh, I think it's very, very, very important. Uh, are you? Uh, <clears throat> tell us a little bit about yourself. You, you're uh, graduating from uh, the University of Brownsville. University of Brownsville. Uh, with an art education um, degree and. Um, Graduating in May. Right. Mm -hmm. And I heard a, a sad thing that you're going to be leaving the valley. Yeah, I'm leaving the valley. I'm going to go to New York um, and with a another with a friend, another art student, and we're going to be doing the whole artist art school in New York thing. Oh. Oh, you're going to art school in New York? Yeah. Oh. Okay, you better say your name again so we can... We can. Audrey Rodriguez. Audrey Rodriguez, mm -hmm. okay. You guys are, you're gonna be seeing her. I'm gonna pop, pop my head over here. You're gonna be seeing her in years to come. Right now is the time to buy her paintings because very, very soon you're not gonna be able to afford them. Unless, you know, you're the kind of person who can't afford those things. In which case, you're gonna to wanna to invest in them anyway because, you know. Right now, they're somewhat reasonable, right? Yeah, so, yes. right now they're reasonable. Within the reach later, of the average I, person. Yeah. Yes, but not, not for long. Not for long. Not with the, the, the quality of technique and, the, uh, and the, uh, the impact of the message that she has in her, her art. I predict yeah. that she's going to be a very important painter very, very soon. Okay, and Audrey, uh, how long have you been painting? Well, I've been, paint, um, I've been painting, you know, off and on ever since I could paint, you know, young. But seriously, oil. You mean it since you could hold your own baby bottle? <laughs> Ever since I could, I knew how to control a paintbrush. So maybe about, I don't know, uh, elementary school. But okay. I really started seriously painting when I um, entered college. Oh, okay. So yeah. So it's been, you know, maybe three, four years. Really. Okay, what uh, what draw you? Uh, <clears throat> maybe we could take a look at some of your paintings here. Okay. What uh, what draw uh, drew you to uh, specifically to uh, the subject matter of the uh, 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 cartel drug war? What drew me to that? Uh, the fact that I had classmates um, coming in every day, the ones that. Uh, 
come from across, you know, they live in Matamoros and they'll come and they'll be a little bit shooken and you ask them about what's going on and they tell you in great detail what they see, what they go through every day, it really affects you and um, it's almost surreal. So I really wanted to um, choose that as my um, the subject matter because I feel that uh, visual arts or art in general is such a powerful tool and I really want to reach people and uh, with powerful messages. I would say, uh, and I see what you think of this, I would say most people that live in the Rio Grande Valley have been affected by the drug war in one way or another, wouldn't you say? Yes. They know somebody, they have a relative, they, they, or they have a friend that had a relative that uh, was kidnapped or killed or... Yeah, it's so much more than what you see on the news and it's just that much, I guess the, the way Alan said it was, it's so raw, you know. I, I don't know, it's, it's just something that can't be ignored, but something we're so used to at the same time. I just wanted to put it in a different light. It's the banality of evil. Would you say it's a banality of evil? I think so. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <an English major. laughs> well, her pictures speak for her. I'm the one who throws around the words, and I can't do the painting, so there you go. Yeah, uh, it's um, that kind of thing. I'm not very, I can't, I don't know, I'm kind of a shy person, not too great with my words. I'd rather just show you visually. What well, I we appreciate this because I've noticed I, I have the writers of the Rio Grande.com website, mm -hmm. and I notice a lot of writers shy away from from the subject that's all around them uh, all the time because they don't really know how to deal with it or what position to take or no one at the top is telling them what to think too so yeah. <laughs> so, they, so they don't uh, they don't know what to do and I'm glad to see that somebody is doing that so how long are you going to be in uh, school in New York um, well, I'm going to try it out for a year and see where that takes me. Oh, well, the, the course goes for, what, two years? or? Oh, it's actually um, more of a, what's it called? It's like a post-baccalaureate kind of oh, before. Oh, okay. You You're not going for your master's? Not yet. I'm going to wait on the MFA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, we'd certainly congratulate you for all your efforts here and uh, would you like to make some comments about some of your paintings? Um, I'm not sure. Well, I this one is a true story. Um, she she came in one day to the painting studio. She's a fellow painter uh, mm -hmm. artist and uh, she came in and she and we we're like what's what's wrong? Her name's Kitty, her nickname. And then she's like, oh, well, I just saw I just saw an arm. I was walking down the streets of Matamoros, and I just saw an arm. So um, I, I knew right then and there, since it was a true story, I wanted her to uh, tell me all about it. And I wanted to know where it was, how it was positioned. And I knew that I had to paint it. So then I asked her what I wanted her to be the, the main subject. So I asked her to kind of... Um, think about it and recreate what she felt and the face that she had when she saw it and she made that face. So I painted that face and that's pretty much how that goes. That's a very impressive face. Thank you. Very real. And this one over here? Um, this one's supposed to be about how um, you you were so used to it and how um, they're kind of just nonchalant even though about it, even though he's asking for help and wanting it, they just, you know, we're not going to help you. And um, so, and um, it's called Could You Pass the Sugar? So that's kind of ironic and the, the cafe is called La Taza Marga, which means the bitter mug. So that kind of um, helps with the irony. And La Casa. La Taza Amarga, the bitter mug. La Taza Amarga. Mm -hmm. 
there's just... Yes, that is. A lot of people don't see anything, they don't hear anything, they don't know anything. Mm. And that's... Maybe that'll keep them safe for a little while. Well, thank you for... Okay. Oh, uh, oh, one more thing. Uh, you you want to be sure and get whatever, how people can contact you with an email address or... Your paintings are for sale, right? Um, yes. Uh, yeah. prints. Okay. Do you have a website or anything? I have, a, um, well, you could find me on Facebook, Audrey Rodriguez. I have a website, but the link is too long to say. Audrey Rodriguez, Brownsville, Texas, right? Um, it's actually Port Isabel. All Port, Port Isabel. Isabel. Yeah. Okay. Find you in Port Isabel, Audrey Rodriguez. Rodriguez.